All right, so let's fix the widths on our columns here to get them to be the sizes that we want them to be. So if you remember, I said that I'm going to use a modifier class once again. Now, you don't have to necessarily use a modifier class, but we're going to get really used to using modifier classes. So I want you to sort of get in that mindset now. The original way I was going to look at it was we could use our dot call, which would be um, this would just be one width and we could have a call two and a call three. But I'm going to set up the same idea, but I'm going to have a call one, call two, call three. And there could technically, I guess, be a call four that would stretch the whole width. Now, I am going to keep this slide. I did keep this slide here, though, before I thought of that, because I did want to look at the idea of why I'm calling it call two and why I'm calling it column three. And the way I'm looking at it is this is a four column layout. I have if I divided this into equal spaces, I'd have four. If I took the smallest column, I could have four of them across the entire width of this layout. So it's a four column layout. This one is double the width of this one. And this is three times the width of my sort of default or my smallest column here. So I have my column two, which is going to be double the size and this one, which is going to be triple the size. So what I want you to do is if you didn't do it on the last video, when I said you have a chance, because you weren't really sure what to do, try giving it a go now that I've explained a little bit more. And then I'm going to look at sort of the trickiest thing was how do you decide exactly how big they should be? All right, so I hope you got it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to come in actually to my index here first and we have to add those class columns to here. So this is a column and it's going to have the width of a column one. Then I'm going to have this one have the column two. And this one is also going to be a column one. Down here, I'm going to have a column three. And this last one will be a column one. So if I come over to my styles now, and I come and create some styles for those. So we're gonna have a call one, a call two, and a call three. And what unit do you think would make the most sense for setting the sizes on these? Like if you were gonna do, what's the easiest way you could decide the width that one of these would be? You know, pixels would be a nightmare just cause you don't, how many pixels big should it be? The screen's always changing and then, well then it's not gonna work at all the screen sizes. M's and rems, same deal. It just, it's not going to function. This is where percentages really come into play. So my call one, I can give this a width. The question is how big do I make it? Well, I just said, when we were looking at that last slide, we're gonna divide this up into four. So if I made this 25%, then I know that this one should be a width of 50%. And I know that this one here should be a width of 75%. So let's come and look and see how that worked on my layout. And look at that everything is lining up. This is a call one and this is a call one. So now they're actually the same size as one another. They're working out the way we'd wanted them to work out before. They're matching each other. That's that's perfect, right? Before this was bigger, but it was a lot bigger. Now everything is lining up with one another. The only problem we have now is there's no space between our columns. And there's a lot of different ways we can approach this lack of space. A lot of popular ways are using margins and padding to create space. But then this first column needs a different style because you can't have any margin on the left or this one needs a different style because it can't have anything on the right side. And then, you know, the same thing here, you start getting into a little bit of issues or problems with it. And luckily, Flexbox actually has a really good way to solve this problem. And we're going to see that solution in the next video.